Our next story concerns a question that is buzzing in Islamabad. Will there be a military coup in Pakistan? Will the Pakistan army return to power? And what is the basis for this question, you wonder? Some recent statements by the Pakistan government. The first one is from Shahbaz Sharif himself, the Prime Minister of Pakistan. The second is from Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, the country's Foreign Minister. In recent days, they have both hinted at getting the army involved to solve the ongoing political mess in the country. Let me break it down for you. I'll start with Shahbaz Sharif. Earlier this week, he rejected the Pakistan Supreme Court's order to hold elections in the Punjab province by the 14th of May. In fact, his cabinet overruled the top court's decision, calling it biased and unwarranted. And guess what he plans to do next? He says he will take the Pakistan army's support to create pressure on the country's judiciary. You heard that right. And how exactly do we view this? Is Shahbaz Sharif trying to pit the army against the judiciary? Well, it certainly seems like that. Earlier this evening, he even held a meeting of Pakistan's National Security Committee. This meeting was, in essence, a bid to seek the support of the army. But support to do what exactly? To make the judiciary delay the elections in Punjab province. And who all were present in this meeting? Well, besides Pakistan's federal ministers, there was General Asim Munir, the chief of army staff. General Sahir Shamshad Mirza, the chairman, joint chiefs of staff committee. And the various heads of the Air Force and the Navy. And what exactly did they discuss? The details are yet to be released, but like I said, the focus was dealing the elections and overriding the Supreme Court's order. Not just that, reports also say that the idea of imposing an emergency could also have been raised at the meeting. An emergency, you heard that right. It was first floated by Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. A few days back, remember, he said that if the current crisis persists, Pakistan may face an emergency-like situation. We told you about this. He also added that he is appreh apprehensive about the imposition of martial law in the country. And how should this be viewed? Was this a hint, an indication of what's about to come? Are the leaders of Pakistan really mulling the imposition of martial law? Here's another clue, and this is what Bilawal said two days back. That if the political turmoil does not end, neither Shehbaz Sharif nor Imran Khan will be able to rule. He added that in the end, the people of Pakistan will have to bear the brunt, the consequences. And what do we make of that? Is there a behind-the-scenes effort to get the military in power? Has the Pakistan government sensed that the PTI will not give up? Has it teamed up with the army to battle Imran Khan? Imran Khan certainly thinks so. This is what he posted on Twitter recently. Let me quote from it. Today we stand at a turning point in our constitutional history where we can be like Turkey or become another Myanmar. Everyone must choose with whether they stand, as PTI does, with the constitution, rule of law and democracy, or with a corrupt mafia, law of the jungle and fascism. I repeat, Pakistan has to choose whether it wants to become Turkey or Myanmar. Turkey, a country whose leader, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, is Imran Khan's role model. And Myanmar, a country that is under the rule of the Myanmar junta. What was he hinting at? What is he talking about? Has he sensed the PMLN's intentions? Does he also fear the imposition of martial law? Whatever be the case, all is certainly not well in Pakistan. The Shahbaz Sharif government is unable to rein in the PTI. It knows it is sinking in this political quagmire. 
and it wants to take Imran Khan along with it. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.